Welcome back everybody, my name is Nick930 and today I want to give you guys 5 helpful tips and tricks for Sea of Thieves. For this video we're going to focus on the basics of sailing and since the game offers no real tutorials, here's a few helpful tips that will help you get started. Number 1, Setting Sail. Unlike other games that feature sailing, Sea of Thieves mechanics are a bit more involved. The only way you're going to get moving is if you take full advantage of the wind and its direction. To get started, board your ship and raise the anchor. Raising it with a teammate will make things go a lot faster. Once the anchor is raised, adjust the steering wheel so that your ship is facing in the direction that you want to go and begin lowering the sails. I recommend starting with a small two-man sloop to get the basics down before trying the large four-player galleon. Now, once the sails are lowered, you should now begin moving. Number two, churning. Turning the ship is straightforward. Simply use the steering wheel and rotate the wheel in the direction you want to go. But as you might expect, steering isn't instantaneous, so you'll need to plan ahead to avoid collisions with rocks on the water. Also, keep in mind that the faster your ship is going, the longer your churning radius will be. So if you need to change direction, make sure you raise your sails first. Raising your sails completely will make it even easier to rotate your ship. Even if you're at a complete standstill, you can rotate the wheel and your ship will rotate. Use this when leaving a tight area. Number three, tacking. To maximize your speed, you're going to want to make sure the sails are angled with the direction of the wind. The goal is to fill the sails with as much direct wind as possible. To do this, look up at the streaks of wind in the sky. Another easy indicator is the flag on the top of the main mast. Go to the side of the ship and angle the sail so that the wind is going directly into the back side of the sail. If done correctly, you'll see the sail billow outwards and you'll hear a sound indicator. Remember that this will slightly adjust the course of your ship, so you're going to want to consistently adjust your steering and the sail angle. When going against the wind, you're going to be forced to tack. Tacking involves zigzagging in the direction you want to go, so that you maximize the amount of time your sails are being affected by wind. If the objective is directly north and the wind is coming directly at you, going south, you'll want to zigzag from northeast to northwest so that you're at least getting some wind. Doing this will require you to steer the ship and reverse the angle of the sails, so this is best done with teammates. Number 4, Handbraking. So let's say you spotted an enemy ship going the opposite direction and you want to pursue quickly. You're going to want to turn the ship around in the fastest way possible. The best way to do this is to turn the wheel in the direction you want to go, while traveling at full speed. Then quickly drop your anchor. The anchor will cause the ship to whip around 180 degrees. As soon as the anchor hits the ground and your ship begins to churn, work with your teammate to raise the anchor again. Adjust your steering and the sail direction and you should be traveling in the opposite direction and at full speed in no time. Number 5, Docking. Docking the ship is very easy in this game, but if done improperly could result in a lot of serious damage to your hull. Approach a destination carefully and rotate your ship so that it's parallel to the beach or dock. Once you get close enough, begin to raise your sails to slow your approach speed. If you're in a hurry, you can do a drive-by and quickly drop your anchor and your ship should stop instantly. But just make sure the speed and direction you're going doesn't cause your ship to swing around and hit something on shore. And those are just some of the basics of sailing in Sea of Thieves. If you have any suggestions on future tips and tricks, please feel free to let me know in the comments. But in the meantime, I hope this video was helpful and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks.